cat's meow. I've been listening to John Mearsheimer, nice political scientist, Jeffrey Sachs, economist, and Noam Chomsky, linguist activist, all of which seem to be very knowledgeable, but I am newbie. So what do I know? Do you respect their opinions on global politics? Um, John Mearsheimer is good on Israel, not good on China. Okay. Jeffrey Sachs is good on you uh u.s domestic policy and u.s uh, international geopolitics as well so jeffrey sachs is pretty good but he learned his lesson okay from the 1990s where he was one of the architects unwilling architects of the demise of the collapse of the ussr and the hardship that the Russians went through for 10 years right so a lot of Russians don't like Jeffrey Sachs right even though he was played by the US government so he knows his stuff and he's a lot wiser now right uh, Noam Chomsky can kiss my ass because he can't he, he knows his stuff regarding indigenous population and, uh, and the Americas and regarding uh, Israel Middle East and stuff like this but I don't listen to Noam Chomsky anymore uh, because he came out during the last four years and said those people that chose bodily autonomy should be put on an island and let them take care of themselves don't help them out. so he was pro concentration camps right maybe he went senile i've listened to him talk when he was older he hasn't really gone senile but there's there's a point you reach where uh, or some people reach where they cannot see the difference right they can't they can't see what's happening right so noam chomsky has constantly stated that's one of his thesis is the government lies the government lies us into wars the government has been lying 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 but then when it came to the last four years he was all in for the government telling the truth and anyone questioning the government bad right so i don't listen to noam chomsky anymore even though i used to really like him right um and some of his older stuff pretty good especially regarding israel and palestine uh, you should listen in terms of uh, the Middle East, Norman Finkelstein. Uh, uh, Scott Ritter is pretty good. You should, uh, cats meow, uh, watch Judge Napoletano. Okay. He brings on Mir uh, Mearsheimer and Sachs. He doesn't bring on Chom Chomsky, thank God, uh, and the Duran. And dialogue works. You should listen to dialogue works he's only on sensor tube right now um but uh he was on rumble before too but brazil banned rumble or rumble pulled out of brazil uh yeah rumble pulled out of brazil uh but judge napoliotano scott ritter the duran dialogue works dialogue works is really good i, I watch almost everything he puts out uh, oh let's say 80 percent Right. some of the people i don't bother with some of the people if i've listened to them in a previous video i don't listen to them, that, 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 that stuff right uh, for geopolitics those are the ones i would look into if you want economic economic uh, economics i would go wolf street uh, wolf street and i would go uh, martin armstrong even though Mar i think martin armstrong is very weak very weak in regards to the middle east middle east so Martin Armstrong is good for economics, good for uh, domestic and geopolitics connected up to economics, what's happening financially in the markets, right? But he's very weak in regards to uh, the Middle East, extremely weak, okay? Cast me out. Thank you for the answer and recommendation. My pleasure, my pleasure.